Hey, Sean here from speedqbview.com. So I have an unboxing and let's get to it. Now, I actually don't even remember what is in this, so let's find out. Awesome, okay. So first off, this. Now this is a replacement core for the Gogwan Yuxiao. Now, I was filming a video on how I set up a cube and using the Go One for that setup. But after I finished setting it up, it just kept popping. And it turns out that one of the cores, one of the sections in the core was stripped. So the screw was just able to slide in and out of it. These cores for Go One are much, much smaller for screws than other Moyu type cues, Moyu Kong design YJ. And at least for this one, it was really easy to strip because the screws are smaller and the threads are smaller. So for everyone else, watch out on that. It might be an issue. It was for at least that one of mine. So I have the replacement core, but I am going to do a new setup video with the Aulong. Now, this is a stickerless, so I won't have to worry about reapplying stickers. This is also the mini Aulong. Now what I want to check if this is still the V1. And it is. So you can tell by those cutouts, by how small they are, that this is the V1 mold. They've never changed the mold for the mini, so it's still the V1. And for those of you who are just getting into cubing and maybe never experienced the Aulong V1, you probably heard a lot of rumors about how amazing it was, but how bad the corner twists are. It is true. And if you want to try it out, you can always just grab a mini one. So you can get this and all the other things I'm showing at speedcubeshop.com. I'll have a link in the description. Make sure to use discount code CUBEREVIEW. You can save 10% on your order. But this is a mini Aulong. It's actually really dry right now. I'll do my setup video on how I completely set up a brand new cube if I went really all out. So, there's that. Then we have the Shangshu Megamorphix. Or is it Mastermorphix? I can never remember which one's which. The regular 3x3 three three one. I got the Lan Lan. And oh, this is so much more smooth. I know there's another one out there that's a big one that people get. So I could do a little comparison of that. I still plan on doing a solve video on this, on how to solve it. It's just a three by three shape mod, but a lot of people have questions on it. My last cube in here is the Kong's Design Mei Yu. Now I have a black Mei Yu that was that first generation, and I'm actually getting caps from that other company. I got it from the Australian speedcube.com.au and I'm waiting for the new caps to actually do the comparison with that because they're the ones who sent me it originally but I wanted one of my own that I can get now and actually I'll probably be giving the other one away so stay tuned for that. Now this, let's see here. Okay, I can do a full review of this later but for now unfortunately it doesn't feel anything super special. Now that's compared to every other 4x4 out today. What I mean by that is that this is an awesome 4x4. This could be someone's main. This could be used to break a world record. But it's not way above all the other 4x4s out there. Corner cutting is very similar to what you'd see. Reverse is really nice, but nothing super special. The tensions are okay-ish. Maybe they are a little bit tight. It does... Hmm. I'll break these in, I'll break this one in and get the new caps and see what I can do. So quick edit here. After I did my first solve in this 4x4, I will say this is the nicest first solve of a 4x4 I have ever had. Out of the box, it's incredibly smooth, it speeds up really fast, and it's really just nice to use. I didn't really get too many times that it just locked up or was got really stuck. This is a nice 4x4. Do I think it's necessary if you already have like an Aosu or something like that? Not at all. But at least for right now, I'm super happy with this. Final big thing, stickers. I had my own stickers made. 
Now these are not the same that you would get from some other shops where it's a clear sticker that goes over. These, this is an actual just white sticker and I had it in the shape of a Mei Ying cube. So here's my blue Mei Ying. Actually, let me get something different. Let's go for the chartreuse Mei Ying. So this sticker will just replace that other one that's right on there. Let me do that right now. There we go. Now let's get a zoom in there. So this is really nice. And it's not that clear plastic, so you're not gonna get that dirt around the edge of it. And I have a bunch of these, so I'm gonna re-sticker pretty much all of my cubes with this. And if I do giveaways where I've pre-set up a cube, you'll get one of these fancy schmancy speed cube review stickers as well. So we have the new stickers, a whole lot of them. The new core for the gold one, the mini Aulong V1. They don't have V2, but I'm gonna call, keep calling it a V1 for the mini because it's fun to say. The Shengshu Megamorphix, Mastomorphix, whatever the actual name is. Let me look it up before I tell everyone the wrong thing. Master Morphix, Mega is with a 4x4, and the Kong's Design Mei Yu. Thank you very much. Please hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.